Hey guys, welcome back to WP Manager. And in this series, we are talking about WordPress security. So when it comes to WordPress security, we always uh, like wonder what's the WordPress security like. Let's say in uh, like operating system, we use some kind of anti malware services or like anti uh, virus software or a security suite. So in WordPress, that kind of software all plugin is available as well. But since we are talking about non coding community and like those are not really required if you are an advanced user and you know what you are doing you can achieve them by uh, like custom coding as well or like tight security measurements since we are talking about non-coding community over here i'll give you a little bit of, of overview or like guides to get started with wordpress security applications so let's head over to our plugins and we will visit our plugin repository so in here i'll give you two names right so those are pretty big player when it comes to wordpress security in uh, like all total okay so let's say we can type in uh word fence the first of all that i personally use for my wordpress installations in my uh, personal wordpress websites so word fence is a total security suite for your wordpress website and I'm not going to go ahead and install the WordPress inside uh, the installation as of now. That's a topic for a separate video. Let me give you another big name in WordPress security applications uh, business. That is Security. Okay, so Security, that's the name. And Security is a big player as well when it comes to WordPress uh, total firewall thingy or like uh, security application. And let me tell you one thing, this security and WordPress is a freemium uh, WordPress plugin. That means they have a free version and they have a paid version as well. So in this uh, WordPress security plugins over here, they will get installed in your WordPress website. You can use the free plugin or the free version. They are good as well. But if you are into like total security thing and want to take the maximum advantage of the plugin, you can go for the paid version if you want. So they're really worth the money if, for my uh, experience if you are a non-coder and wants to protect your website from every aspect. So I'm gonna give you like a bit of context what these plugins does or what how they handle like the security on the WordPress website. So both of the plugin over here, what they do, they monitor the uh, like let's say core file changes in WordPress environment. So let's say in WordPress environments, there's like default files. I'm not talking about themes or like, let's say uh, plugins, but in my experience, WordFins uh, can differentiate like custom code changes or malicious code changes in our website. Let's say in this website, uh, they can detect a malicious code changes in file. So let's say one of your uh, plugin is infected and it has like some uh, malicious code inside them or fins will or the security will let you know about the infection you have going on it will uh, give you the option to quarantine the file or like even delete it or it will ask you to like if you want to attempt a repair on the file so it will try its base to uh, automatically remove the malicious code out of the uh, infected file so it's not limited to plugins not limited to uh, themes it can uh, work on the wordpress core files as well so the files uh, that we see inside wp admin file or the folder and inside wp includes folder so those are core wordpress files WordPress uh, security plugins such as security and WordPress works better on those uh, files. So you have a uh, file protection, malicious code protection, and you will have like, uh, let's say IP protections as well and a complete firewall in my opinion. So let's give these uh, plugins a try from your end and let us know what you think. So these plugins, they help you to automize security and like tightens down your website without uh, like a lot of technical knowledge. So these are like basically simple software that lets you enhance or helps you enhance your WordPress website security. So that should be it for this video. I hope uh, this gave you a bit of context what WordPress security plugins are and how they can help you. I'll take you a bit of uh, like in-depth guide about one of the WordPress security plugin over here. So we will use WordPress in our next upcoming video. Tune back in some other day, some other time for that video. Until then, I'm Sarah saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.